Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the seventh video of Windows Over 2012 step by step uh, guide. So in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure WDS server on Windows Server 2012. So let's have some idea about my DAME environment. So in my DAME environment I have one Active Directory server which is Win2K12 DC DC01 I have assigned IP address 192.168 and I I have promoted this server as an Active Directory domain controller if you want to verify here it is my local server so the server name is Win2K12 DC01 and my domain name is victorinfosol.local so this is the IP address of my domain controller and uh, if I go to dashboard you can see Active Directory Domain Services DSCP and DNS is installed on this server so and the second server is Win2K12 SRV01 which I have assigned IP address 192.168.2.49 and uh, this machine is joined to uh, my domain which is Vector Info Soul. if you want to see you can go and see here my server name and the machine is joined to domain and the IP address these details so so and I have one machine you can call it bare metal machine just just a fresh hardware or fresh virtual machine no operating system installed this on this machine so this is basically a blank black uh, machine with the blank hard disk so let's move and step by so uh, step by step installing WDS on Windows 2012 so the first thing we need to do install Windows deployment service role from server manager so I am going on my SRV01 server here it is and manage add role and features next next and my server name my IP address next and here from the server role I have to select Windows deployment server Windows deployment services so click next and devol default and deployment server and transport server both next and click on install so it will take it one or two minutes to get the installation complete for uh, WD server role So the installation is started. So the next task is configured Windows deployment server. So once the installation is finished, we can proceed for next step. So the installation is almost done. So the installation is completed. Click on close and go to tools and Windows deployment services. And here we are. Click the servers. The server name is Win2K12 SRV01.vectorinfosol.local. So right click on click on configure server. So it will give you the <coughs> all pre requests which is required for. Uh, uh, WDS so click on next like it's it is an active active DNS and TFS file system DSCP scope option for PXC boot active direct environment these things so here is the option standalone or integrate with active directory so I'm going to integrate with the active directory click next so it will asking for creating the a folder for the WDS which holds all the WDS related uh, things like boot uh, like boot images install images everything so I'm going to use T drive remote install click next and um, here is the option do not respond to any client response uh, only to known client and respond to all client so I'm going to select uh, respond to all client so click next it is configuring and starting Windows deployment services. 
so now if we go to D drive and check here is the folder which is created remote install and the so few sub folders like boot images management store template temp and WDS client unattended and these things so we are done with this uncheck this and because we are going to do this on next step so we have install image boot images pending devices multicast transmission drivers all these things so for now I am going to uh, do the third step add boot and install image to WDS so I'm going to like add install image or boot image for Windows 10 client machine so my ISO Windows client and Windows 10 browse it okay so now click on right click on boot images add boot image folder location I'm going to open my CD drive which is here and source under the source we have a boot dot wim file browse it click on next and if you want to rename it you can rename it like anything so I am going to leave it default click next um, next so it will take a few minutes to add the boot, Im boot image in WDS server so the uh, boot image is added and let's uh, add the installation image for Windows 8 machine so browse the Windows 8 machine 8.1 ok click ok and right click on windows image first create a one image group like windows 8.1 and under this right click and add install image go to location here this is install.wim file so e drive source under the source install.wim ok click next and this is showing the operating system version Windows 8.1 Enterprise 64 bit. So click next, next, and now it's checking, checking the integrity, integrity of uh, source installation image. Uh, so it's basically validating the image. It is correct or not? Is it not corrupted image? So these things. Once the verification is done, it will proceed for adding the boot image in, in WDS server so it will take a few minutes so the next thing we have to configure so it will take so we can proceed for next step which is configuring the DSCP scope option so I'm going to I have installed Active Directory uh, uh, DSCP on my Active Directory server so tools and go to DSCP server here we have a DSCP and click OK expand it and go to IPv4 the scope option you can see I have created one scope for uh, address pool from 101 to 150 and address lease is for one machine that is giving IP address for my uh, my physical laptop uh, you can see no reservation so I'm going on a scope option right click configure option go to little bit down 60 we need to configure 66 and 67 option so here is it is also boot server host name under the boot server host name um, we have to put the uh, uh, host name for my uh, WDS server which is holding the PXC boot so click here so we can copy the name of our server here we are so I'm going to copy the full name this is the name so go here and paste 
apply so the 66 is updated you can see on the SAP and the 67 we need to put like this option so boot as 64 so if you want to go and just copy this I'm going to copy this and go to TCP options boot file name and paste the name apply ok so now you can see the both 66 and 67 is updated so we are done with this step also so just wait for windows 8 image to get inserted in install images so the next task is to test the like OS deployment on client machine so once the image adding done we will proceed for next step so I am pausing the recording here till the image is gets inserted in install install.vim is inserted in install images we'll back once the install, uh, once the adding image is finished so the adding image is also now little bit So the task process that the operation is completed. The selected images were successfully added to server. Close it, and here you can verify the was images uh, like added to uh, WDS seven and it's online. The size, the date, the version, the priority, everything is here. So we can proceed to next step: test OS deployment on client machine. So we are. I am going to on my bare metal machine so it will boot from like uh, uh, it will take IP address from DSCP server here you can see it's requesting for IP address and it, it received the IP address from our DSCP server and the subnet mask DSCP server name and the gateway you can see here the downloaded a WDS uh, from our WDS IP address and WDS server name and it's required F12 to press from network service boot it's required we need to press the F12 to boot from network so uh, so it's given the operating system not found because we did not press F12 so I'm going to click on right button here and properties and you, you can see these options journal PXE response response to which machines AD related things boot so these reach the uh, so you can see unknown client required users to press the F12 key to continue from PXE boot. So I'm going to select this always continue the PXE boot and apply for known client as well. Eh? So it does not require to plus press F12 if the machine is bare metal. So you can define like. Uh, like these details so we'll discuss these things later on so now I'm going to hit on control to Dell and it will reboot the same thing it's requesting the IP address is so now you can see uh, it's it does not require to press F12 and it's booting from our uh, server SRV01 which is our WDS server you can see the IP address of WDS server and the file which is booting so image boot.vim this one which we have added so it's loading file it will require one or two minutes to get the complete the loading of files you can see the windows is starting <laughs> so
so the setup is just starting now so here you can see the windows setup windows deployment service and your language and keyboard selection click on next and now it's required your administrator user account password to authenticate on the WDS server you can see the server name here so I'm going to use my domain credential vector info soul and WDS admin which I am using on my uh, WDS server and its password and now you can see the all image I have a co only one image in my operating system which is install.vim here so install images so it will reflecting here if we have a multiple image there it will reflect also here so click on next and now it will giving you the like unallocated space add this information click on next and now you can see the setup uh, window setup is continue automatically once the server initiate your session so it will asking for now but you can see it's uh, started so if you go here and check the network utilization on this server you can see it's sending the data to WDS so here you can see it's sending like uh, approx 50 MB per second to our WDS client so it's rough it's installing so it will once the installation is complete for Windows 8.1 by using the WDS I will be back so so the installation is almost done and click on next I accept on the personalized type the machine name like WDS client 01 click on next use the express setting <coughs> the machine is not connected to internet so it will give you the like creating the local account for the machine so here we are machine is not connected with internet your windows having trouble to connect into internet so we can create a local account create type the name Vika Singh your username and type the password for user account whatever you want to put and just click on finish so that's finalizing settings so it's will installing the like a uh, few apps which is integrated with windows 8.1 so it will take few minutes so you can see the installation is done so so all this step is completed successfully so operating system deployment on client machine is also done so this is all about installing and configuring and deploying operating system by WDS on Windows Server 2012 and please subscribe me for more videos if you have any any query any questions related to this you can mail me on my given mail ID and thank, thank you for watching bye bye